Hi, I'm Lou Meyer, arborist with the Davy Tree Expert Company, covering the Maryland and DC region, talking about tree health, plant health, and turf health. The spotted lanternfly is a pest that we've been talking about in the Maryland region for a number of years now. 2023 is really gonna be the year that Montgomery County sees its population boom. The spotted lanternfly was first observed in Bucks County, Pennsylvania in 2014. 2018 is when it crossed over to Cecil County, the first time that it was found in Maryland. And now it's been positively identified in almost every county of the state. What it does is it spreads uh, by flying and more hopping than anything else. So it's not a super fast traveling pest. It hitches rides though on vehicles with its egg masses. So the life cycle is in the spring, the babies emerge, nymphs they're called, uh, they usually have three cycles before they turn into adults, and at that point they're flying around in the fall, mating, and then the females lay their egg mass onto stationary objects, the sides of trees, they lay them on metal containers, and really the way it's traveling is by them laying on their egg masses on train cars and on campers, semi-trucks, think of objects that sit stationary for a long time and then moves. It's really hard to stop the spread. The pest itself swarms onto trees. When a tree is heavily laden with them, it almost looks like the bark is alive. It's, it's kind of cool and kind of gross at the same time. And really the effect is the bug itself is piercing the cambium of the tree, the, the vascular system of the tree, and it's feeding on the sugars that the tree is creating. And this depletes the tree of those sugars and kind of weakens it. Another thing that this does is the pest, as it drinks the sugars and processes it, it excretes these sugars. This comes out as honeydew, a super sweet, clear, sticky substance. And when these pests mass on these trees and the trees are over uh, stationary objects like cars or walkways or pools or patio furniture, uh, it coats them, again, in the sticky sweet substance, and that substance then attracts sooty mold, airborne mold that's part of the particulates that you and I breathe, and it's just, it's bad, it's gross. But the best thing to do is just learn to deal with them. They're gonna be a temporary nuisance uh, for the next few summers, and then their populations should peter off. Uh, currently, the birds have figured out that they're a source of food, which is really good. There are also two strands of native fungi that are attacking the spotted lanternfly and are inhibiting their spread as well. So nature's coming back and, and nature's trying to find that balance as it often does. And, and we're trying to let it do that.